today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to easily do a continuous looping video in Final Cut Pro 10 as requested by a subscriber. If you guys have any tutorial requests, send them over to me and if I'm able to recreate it, I'll definitely consider making a video on it in the future. And if you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button so that whenever I post a new video, you guys will be notified. This is another fairly easy effect to recreate. You will only need to film your scene once and you are good to go. When choosing your location, make sure to choose one without a lot of movement. I chose this one in front of a community center to film the looping video with my kid Mills as the subject. Have your subject start at one side of the scene, walk to the middle, and then walk off to the other side. The key is to have them completely out of the frame when it starts and also out of the frame when they walk out. Once you are happy with what you filmed, Import it into Final Cut Pro 10. Drag your clip onto the project timeline. Copy the same clip and place it on top. Move the top clip so that it is aligned at the spot where you want it to start appearing. You can change the opacity of the top clip to see if the subjects overlap. This is key as you don't want them to overlap at all to make the effect work. That goes for shadows as well. Change the opacity back to 100% when you are done. Next, look for the draw mask tool and place it on top of the first clip. Place about 4 points on the side where the subject will be coming from. Add a keyframe to transforms and control points. Now press the right arrow key on your keyboard to move to the next frame and adjust the key points so that it reveals your next subject. Just make sure that the line does not intersect with any of the subjects and shadows. Once the subject in the first clip is out of the scene, Find a frame where you want the loop to begin again. Make sure that this frame is easy for you to identify as you will be looking for the exact same frame but on the first clip as well. I will cut it off right when the straw leaves Mill's lips. Blade off everything after this frame, both the top and bottom clip. Now find the exact same frame and slice it. You can choose to either delete the very first clip or leave it. It is totally up to you. In this example, we will delete it and start with Mills in the scene already. Now add some color grading to set the mood of the scene. Once you're done that, highlight all of your clips, right click and create a new compound clip. Copy that compound clip and paste it as many times as you want. Add sound effects to your clips to polish it up even more. In this example, I will add sounds of birds and city ambience in the background. I'll also turn up the audio from the actual clip I recorded to hear some of the subtle footsteps and wind from that day. Make sure to turn it down a bit as you don't want it to be overpowering. You can get really creative and use different environments and scenery to create this endless loop. Also play around with it and add subtle effects such as dust particles depending on the mood you are trying to set in the video. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Storyblocks. Storyblocks video has a ton of special effects to choose from, from particles to abstract backgrounds that you can use for any of your videos. You have unlimited downloads, so you can try out as many as you want just to make sure that the one that you choose fits your project. And all their clips are high quality and royalty free, meaning that you can use it for either your personal projects or your commercial projects as well, without having to worry about any copyright issues. So if you're interested, make sure to visit their site the link is in the description section down below. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time. Pretty content. Are you content? No, not.